All right, so if you are paying any attention to uh, Minneapolis or, or just kind of like justice and, and, and whatnot in general, you would have seen that Mayan Burrell was released from prison just last week. Um, for those that don't know about Mayan and Mayan's case, uh, there is a litany of inconsistencies, lack of evidence, and uh, police relying on jailhouse snitches um, to convict Mayan of a murder that he has to this day uh, staunchly said that he did not commit. Um, and he, when you get in Mayan's position as he was, Mayan was, Mayan's a black man. He was 17 years old in 2002, attending Roosevelt, Minneapolis Roosevelt High School. And uh, he, when he was released from prison just uh, last week, he's 35. So that's 18 years uh, behind bars for a crime um, he, he didn't commit. I believe him. That's just the way I feel about it. I believe he didn't commit the crime. Um, and at the time, Amy Klobuchar was, uh, Amy Klobuchar was the, the attorney general for Hennepin County at the time. And in 2006, when she was running for Senate, she mentioned, you know, 2002, there was an uh, 11 year old uh, black girl named Taisha Lynn Edwards that was uh, hit and killed by a stray bullet in South Minneapolis uh, off of 30th in Chicago. And, and Amy Klobuchar goes into detail, you know, I, I prosecuted this young black male and I, I sent him to prison for life. And when you think about, when you think about, that Amy thought that that story was something that she could build her reputation on. Um, she told that for a reason in 2006. But when you think about black pain and black uh, life and lives being profited from, look no further than Amy Klobuchar. She used that case to say that she is for black neighborhoods and black people. When in reality, she fast-tracked a young black man to prison for her career, to bolster her career, get to Senate, and then what did she do after that? She ran for president. And she hit a stone wall. And I, you know, this is funny, because I was going to a forum in February. She was gearing up, and she was, uh, yep, that's my back. Uh, she was gearing up, and she was gonna go to, I, feel, I, I, I think it was St. Louis Park High School. And uh, she was gearing up to go to you know, talk to the kids there. And she was met with a, a, just a hard stop uh, protest on, regarding Mayan Burrell. You locked up Mayan Burrell. What about that? She had no answers. And she, got, she wanted to have the conversation somewhere else. She wanted to, to get control of it, right? And, and device it how she could speak to it or look the best from it. Um, and and it, funny enough, I was going to a forum on uh, how a lot of our interests revolve around looking good or not looking bad. And if you just engage with the truth and avoid both of those, you, you'll, you'll, you'll reap more from that than trying to look good or not look bad. And in Amy's case, she was trying to look good uh, or just not look bad. And in the effort, she never addressed really what the, the justice meant for Mayan. And now she has stolen 18 years from, from a black man. And when we, we showed up to Stillwater Prison uh, to see him be uh, freed, um, you couldn't help but like just the impact of it. And Mayan came out looking cleaner than, I mean, he, Mayan kept, came out looking clean, like just all white, you know, the, 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 the white sheet over his head and the, the, uh, kind of the, the white beanie. I mean, he came out looking just, there was a glow coming from Mayan. There was something about the energy. Like if you were there, you know what I'm talking about, but just being there, there was something really different about that. Like a real, like a real victory, a real W that rarely you get in social justice or racial justice. And when you see that 
that black man walk out of a, a, a space like that, a space meant for harm, destruction, and pain, and to see him walk out and be still confident and, and focused, was, it, it, was, it was inspiring. I, I can't, I'm, it, it's tough to describe. And in that, in doing that, there's two things going on. One is Mayan coming out of prison, and, and, and which was just, again, it's beyond words. I can't, I can't really put it into words and like people are just crying. Everybody's crying and just losing it. Um, and then there's Amy Klobuchar on the other end, you know, and when, when we talk about George Floyd, what happened after that? Family supporting families against police violence then enrolled probably a dozen, dozen and a half, two dozen more families that had lost loved ones to, to police. So where there's one body, there's probably 20 more behind it. So how many other Mayans are in prison? How many other folks are in prison that shouldn't be there? How many... Uh, Mayan was offered plea deals that he turned down. Said, hey, admit that you killed this person. We'll reduce it. No. And then Mike Freeman tried to use Mayan's release as something that he did and said, you know what, I, I just decided to do this, you know, instead of January, I do it in, in December. And you look at how profit over people uh, exists in politics um, and how people try to bolster their careers um, off of black pain and black lives. But seeing Mayan be free from prison was, was something that I'll never... Um, I'll never forget. I'll never ever forget it. And I don't think anybody ever should forget uh, the name Mayan Burrell. And you really should look in, read, read up on Mayan Burrell. And, and you'll, see, you'll see why that was such a powerful moment. But the, one, uh, the, the, the final thing I wanted to say is just gratitude and undying thanks to the team of lawyers, the team of uh, family members, uh, community members that came together to uh, really demand justice for Mayan Burrell and, and for his family and uh, his community. So thank you for that work. And yeah, um, yeah, I can't say enough about it. Can't say enough about it. But that's that. Um, and we'll, we'll see you in the next video. And uh, yeah, yeah, our work is most definitely never done. That's the one thing I took away from the end of it is like, this is amazing that this is happening. All right, let's get the next one out. Let's get, let's get the next one out. Who, what's, what's the next name we got we to gotta talk about? So uh, if there are any names that you know of that, that, you know, from the Innocence Project or anything like that, put them in the comments below. We'll talk about them. Thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.